Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we have Jake Sachs with us again, and we are talking about the Christensen Huntsman. The Huntsman is Christensen's new mid-length single fin, and uh, Chris Christensen shaped this board uh, inspired by the San Diego-style egg and uh, a lot of the boards that were around in the 70s in San Diego. Um, looking at this board, you can see the outline is uh, you know, pretty double-ender-esque, you know, width in the nose and then carrying the width further back in the tail. And then also looking at the foil of the board, you can see the tail is nice and thin, but you can see that uh, there's quite a bit of foam brought up to the nose. Um, some other things that are kind of unique about this shape is that Chris went with more of a down rail uh, compared to the other two mid-lengths in, uh, in the lineup. So you can see that the rail release is a lot lower down than on like a flat tracker or a sea bucket yep. and uh, a little bit more rounded off nose. Uh, the board that I was riding is a 7.2. Uh, Jake was riding the 7.0. Jake, what do you think about this board? This board uh, was so fun. We rode this all over the place and it was just really great. Really uh, fun board as far as versatility, very mm -hmm. versatile. Uh, Mid-length that felt like a uh, good all around kind of, if the waves get bigger, it fits in your quiver, if the waves get smaller mm -hmm. and, and you can just cruise it uh, like really nicely uh so yeah we had we had a blast on it i mean like we've been surfing these for how long about a about a month about a month yeah. like three yeah. weeks to a month and yeah. uh literally with the exception of a couple days like where i pulled out my criss craft yeah like just because it was like a criss craft wave like i surf this board like just as my only board yeah and seven two it actually fits in the back of my truck diagonally boom like right, right in the bed in of the truck yeah. so um i rode it in in literally tiny waves like like knee high yeah. to the point where you were like parallel stancing and like full like Quasimodo like kind of longboard speed trimming yeah. um, all the way to uh, some like fun overhead overhead days you know and so, it, it kind so of fun. it's got a lot of range and it doesn't like what I found is on the bottom end it, it didn't get uh, sticky like it was mm. really fast like I think the parallel outline and the down rail gives it a little bit more speed than some of the yeah. other mid lengths and uh, but it didn't, like when it got small, like it didn't bog down. Like it still had good lift and it's still micro adjusted like on the face. Mm -hmm. Like where some of the other boards, uh, like mid-length style boards would get like a little bit boggy and like kind of mm -hmm. slow and like just sort of like stop. Yeah, I didn't feel like it got locked in and stuck on the small waves where you just kind of can't move right. it. I felt like you could slide around in a good way, Yeah. Like, but it would find the pocket and then still maneuver. I rode it on some like, beach break kind of slabby days like mini uh, beach break barrels uh -huh. and and it chip shot it in really early as well yeah i thought that was really cool to be able to get in early and line up and then maneuver around uh, whereas uh, some of the other mid links would you wouldn't even want to do that because you'd get so locked in you yeah. kind of just trim out um, but with this board, I could surf it almost like a like a short board. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was it was fun. I mean, the thing, um, you know, one of the things that I found out right away uh, when I got this board, because like, you know, comparing like my flat tracker that I ride mm -hmm. is a seven six, mm -hmm. like my C bucket I have is a seven six and a nine oh. And this board I got uh, smaller. I got it in a seven two. Yeah, uh, but the same width and the same thickness as my seven six flat tracker. And so it's like four inches smaller but yet it feels actually like it has more foam. Like it has more paddle power. It has more it, foam yeah. in it. It has more paddle power. It has more like underfoot like lift yeah. than a board four inches longer, the same width and the same thickness. And I think until, you know, you or one of your friends has sat on one and like, and also surfed one and had that push, like it's kind of hard to comprehend why. Yeah. But like looking at the board, you know, cause normally measurements don't lie, yeah. you know? And so like if, if this is a 7.2, that's a 7.6, they're both 21 and a quarter, they're both whatever thickness they are, then you're like, okay, well, it's a little bit different, you, you know? But, know yeah. but to have it, have this one actually have more more foam and more lift was, uh, was really an eye-opener. Yeah. So looking at it, the reason why the, you know, those width and thickness dimensions can be the same, or even if you were gonna compare like 7.0 to 7.0 different models, like mm -hmm. this board's gonna have more foam in it and it's mm -hmm. gonna have more power underneath your feet. And it's because the nose is rounded off, you know, so there's, the board just has more volume when yeah. it's a rounded off nose versus a pointed. You know, this board carries the foam all the way to the nose where the, uh, like the C bucket and the flat track are really blade out yeah. when you get to the nose. The other thing is that, you know, even though this board's only 21 and a quarter wide, it, you know, where a flat tracker would, you know, get to its wide point and then immediately start tear dropping off mm -hmm. or a C bucket, like, you know, getting narrower, the, yeah, you know, as you exactly. go the whole way back, this board carries its width for a long way until 
you get to, uh, there's like just a little bit of a hip and then that thumb tail. So more of the board is closer to 20, 21 and a quarter yeah. wide, you know? So you've yeah. got that longer width, you got the nose width and you got that uh, beak, you know? And yeah. all of those things are giving you more foam. And I think the down rail and the parallel outline give you a lot more uh, power underneath your feet and a lot more like speed and projection, you know, yes, down the line. definitely, definitely. And Tripp and I rode these boards uh, in all different conditions and messed with fin position a lot, different fins, tried them all out. Uh, we had one just magical session uh, in some pretty good ways where we were actually kind of maneuvering the fin just to fit that wave in particular. But what was your optimal fin position and uh, fin placement for this board? Well, the, um, the fin that we ended up liking the best was the True Ames. It's a, a Skip Fry seven and a half, you know, just like a, a nice clean mid-length template and, and that's what uh, I rode as well, yeah. and uh you know initially uh you know this is like kind of my all-around position right now I, I initially had it about i don't know maybe half inch three quarters of an inch further forward which felt great like in like in waves that you never really were pushing off of the bottom mm -hmm. but once i got into stuff that was like a little bit hollower and punchy and where you had to push off the bottom <laughs> i started like sliding the board out yeah quite a bit and so moving it back that uh that little bit helped it lock more in and i even think like uh the session that we had today which was just like fully dredging yeah like it, having another notch to go further back would be even better yeah. for those days you know like where you're just not concerned about turns at all and it's it's just about hold yeah. but um you know right now i don't know i would say it's about in the middle of the box maybe just a touch after the middle um, I did try one other fin. I tried a Jerry Lopez, a Futures mm -hmm. Jerry Lopez, seven and three quarters, which I liked on uh, on my flat tracker. Yeah. And that and that fin definitely it's a little it's a quarter inch deeper, but it's got more cord length, more width the whole way through. Yeah. So it's like a meatier fin, you know. And that uh, fin, I don't know. It just felt like it feels really good in some of the other boards, but it just felt like too much area and like I was pushing too much wall. Yeah. through the water and it just really like kind of dogged the board down. This board needed that fin template that just to really like taper off and and really foil out in the tip there. Yeah, so like to yeah. Like really load up and then have it be springy enough, but then also like kind of it slide, the tail kind of slides right into position right where you want it. And it, it adds that really fun glide to it. Yeah. So like this fin, uh, the seven and a half True Ames is a real good fin for this board, I'd say you know, on the bigger, on the bigger Huntsman's like seven, six and larger, you could go with like an eight inch Chris's yeah. and tracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, some of those captain fin, like uh, I haven't tried it, but I think it would work that, that Joel Tudor, that really, really right narrow, mm -hmm. uh, a yeah. little bit deeper uh, Joel Tudor fin, mm -hmm. I think would be super fun on this board. Cause the, like the more cord length you put on it, like the worse it felt. Yeah. And then a little bit less, like it felt better. And I think that's just a combination of everything that's going on. Everything and, going on the fins like obviously the equalizer yeah going out the back so um you know last let's just talk about like kind of where it fits in the quiver i mean it works in everything i mean yeah. it's an awesome board like I've, I've had a really fun time surfing this thing in a in a wide variety of waves and uh and it you know it kind of really impressed me in a on the, you know in the middle obviously but all like on the small side and the big side yeah but i think um you know getting one of these things and if you're used to christiansen's you could definitely go smaller than what you think yeah. you know a lot of times like when you're when you start talking about small flat trackers or or small sea buckets like people we always scale everyone back up yeah we're kind of like oh it's like hey yeah. you should think about something a little bit bigger because it's yeah. a really small board you know yeah. this board has quite a bit of foam and quite a bit of power yeah. to it you know so don't be afraid to size this one smaller. I would say a minimum of four inches smaller than what you're riding in a flat tracker yeah. or a sea bucket. And, um, but yeah, the whole range is this, you know, I think would be super fun. You know, anything from like a six, eight, just yeah. a full ripper, you know, totally. all the way up to like an eight, six is going to have more punch than most nine O's, you yeah. know, and just be flying. Just flying and like you can get those cutbacks to the pocket and mm -hmm. just line up the little barrels and yeah, just the whole, the whole range from short to long in that board would be really, really fun. Yeah. So you can't go, can't go wrong on that. So basically size it short, it's yeah. faster. It's got a ton of range and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hunting for fun. You know what <laughs> I mean? So um, if you have any question on the Christensen Huntsman or you'd like to place an order for one, either stock or custom order, you can always give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000 or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.